It's been said that the light that shines the farthest is the one that shines the brightest at home. You know, Paul said as a father in the scriptures, did I not exhort you? Did I not comfort you? Did I not charge you? As we've been working with children and families over the last 20 years, what we've found is children have said, if you want me to take up the faith and run with it, mom and dad, you need to be a credible messenger. In other words, exhort us with your life. Let us see it in your life, just like Paul said. And then be available for us when we have need of you. Comfort us in the moment of our affliction, in a sense, right? In the moment of our failures, in the moment of our difficulties. We need you to see us, to hear us, to understand us. And then take time to comfort us and delight in us in the midst of that. Don't let us be too much. But then you can challenge us as long as you're willing to support us and encourage us. That's what it means to be a safe, joyful home where I'm comforted. Just like the Holy Spirit comes and does that for us as individuals, God says, I want you to do that for my children. You know, Jesus said, hey, I finished the work you gave me to do, Father, and he hadn't been to the cross yet. In John 17, verses four through six, he said, I manifested your image to those that you gave me. Our job is to manifest God's image the one that he's manifested to us, he's been merciful to us, he's been gracious to us, he's been patient with us, and he's been abundant in kindness and in truth to us. That's the image he wants manifested to our children as a credible messenger. And then Paul says, did I not charge you? And they'll say, mom and dad, you've done all this investment, you've done all this training, now release us into our calling, don't hold on to us out of fear of failure, but release us into that calling. And that's what Paul did, he charged them to go out and fulfill the call and the purpose of God for their lives. So another way of saying that is that we are to be reconciling those children one to another and to their God. And they see us being reconciled as parents and see us reconciled as a person unto God. They're more open to the understanding of being reconciled one to another, to us and to their God. And so as they're reconciled, then they're ready to be rooted because as they're reconciled, they experience the presence of God. And when they're rooted, they experience the principles of God. They begin to have the rooted faith in Christ Jesus, rooted in the Word of God. And now they're prepared to fulfill the purposes of God. Timothy says the scriptures are valuable for truth, reproof, correction, and training, and righteousness. That the man of God will be thoroughly equipped for every good work. That's what we're doing when we're rooting them in the Word of God. And then they're ready to be released. So reconciled gets them to the presence of God. Root it gets them into the Word of God, and then release gets them out into the world to impact the world for God. That's really what it means about being a parent, an effective parent. It's not so much about raising up godly children as being the godly examples, the godly parents that those children can see. And as Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. That's what they're wanting to be. They want to see it in you so they can take up the faith and run with it, just like you're running with it.